What's going on, people? I'm in an undisclosed location. I'm just kidding. I'm in the Airbnb. This is the first time actually having rent. Is it renting or purchasing? It's not. I'm not purchasing. I guess you're purchasing space, right? Purchasing time for an Airbnb. Um, I vacated to an Airbnb this first time, uh, I guess, renting out an Airbnb. I'm all the way in Jacksonville. I purchased it. And had a time frame from Monday to f Saturday. Um, or I'm supposed to leave on Saturday at 11 a.m. So I have like five days to do, you know, just to be here. And I made this as an opportunity to check out a lot of properties face to face. Because you can see pictures and stuff online. But sometimes those things are misleading. Sometimes um, there might be other things that are not shown within the virtual like the virtual or pictures they're going to show they're going to show the best of and you don't know when those pictures were taken you know it could have been like years ago and the previous owner that left has left like i don't know like holes in the walls or something like that so i wanted to see it uh in 3d right so i made a mission to just rent out an airbnb this airbnb for what for one night is like 50 dollars but with like additional fees that they tack on to it, it totaled out to like $386. Like there's like some type of like cleaning fee that's like a hundred bucks or some shit. And I'm like, oh, whatever. So I, I've rented out the Airbnb. Today is actually a Friday and it's like five something PM. And I'm thinking about leaving right now because uh, I, I, came, I came down to Jacksonville because I wanted to... Also, just visit the properties, but then get a sense of... There's like two things that I really wanted in a city, or if I'm going to move, I want uh, to have. I want affordability in terms of rent, and I want there to be less traffic. And um, I saw several properties. I didn't see as many as I wanted to. I probably saw like technically three in total it, just by visit, because the other two... <sighs> The other two, like this, the fourth one, one of them I canceled and the other one, they said that I'd never actually uh, made an appointment, which is a lie. So that's a thing. But I saw a total of three, even though I was supposed to see more. And some of them, two of them were really, were actually good and stuff, but they never like, <laughs> they never take it to... They never talk about all the additional fees. Like when you see the apartment listing, they don't really talk about, you know, water and sewage and and pest control and um, and and and, um, and trash. Like I didn't have to worry about water and sewage in my old place. I didn't have to worry about trash fees or called valet. I didn't have to worry about pest control either. I didn't have to worry about those types of things. But. When going into these properties, yeah, those are the extra fees you have to tack on. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, and it is very interesting for one of the properties I went to, which looked okay in the pictures. But when I got there, it smelled like people were just smoking 12 packs of cigarettes a day because it smelled, it smelled like a motherfucker, a heavy chain smoker in that one of the apartment listings. And they wanted to wanted me to pay like 1231 for the apartment. And one thing I can say about Jacksonville, yes, they are more affordable. The places are more affordable, but in terms of the traffic, it's there's no difference. There's there's a slight degree, is slightly more manageable, is slightly less. Um, I don't want to say chaotic. It's slightly less uh, impactful to the point that you know you might be stopping in traffic. Your car might not be moving in the next 20 minutes or some shit because there was just so much a surge of traffic. It's not because someone got in an accident or anything. It's because there's just too many motherfuckers in this one city. That's the same thing you can say with Jacksonville. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this way, but I thought to myself, okay, Miami is the number one. Technically, Miami, they say Miami is number two in the biggest city, but it's not. Miami is number one because there's so many things that encapsulate Miami. When they start doing the the numbers for Miami, they only do the numbers for like the city or the heart of Miami. But even but there's like South Miami, North Miami, 
west side of Miami that they don't really put in the package. When you do that, calculate all those areas of Miami is like 4 million people. Um, and Jacksonville is supposedly the, sec the, the second biggest city. And it's supposed to have like 946,000 people. And I thought to myself, okay, well, I guess it's not going to be that bad because it's like the second biggest city. But no, it's still pretty fucking bad. And now I'm thinking to myself, like, I, I went out like somewhere between like, the, you know, the the typical traffic hours is either going to be traffic hours from like 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. is where you're going to find him. At least this is what I'm considering wherever you go the, from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. You're going to have heavy flow of traffic. And then from maybe 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., you'll also find heavy flow of traffic. It's only small amount of hours where everything is just good enough. And I went to like, I went early in the morning and I went to like mid afternoon and the shit is, the shit is really annoying. And now it like crushed my dreams or my whole fantasy. Like, Ooh, this is going to be the better city. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm like sort of defeated, <laughs> sort of defeated about the whole thing. Not only that, like I had to actually on a Monday, I had to leave work early to drive all the way to Jacksonville because I started I the check-in time for Jacksonville or for this this tiny house thing. Did I say did I say it's already stated as a tiny house? Let me actually do a let me actually switch the camera. So this is the tiny house here, bro. Um this is used to, I'm assuming this used to be a shed <laughs> and then they just transformed it into a tiny house. So let me turn on some lights here. Uh, so this is, uh, this is the kitchen area, as you see here. They have like some type of Las Vegas theme, as you see here. See Las Vegas, they put Las Vegas everywhere, as you see here. Um, they got like a tiny refrigerator, as you see here. You know what I'm saying? They got like some. I don't know what these things are called, but neon lights of cards and shit as you see here you have got lights and then you got a bathroom like the way that they had a i wonder how much it's cost to actually just completely change up you know completely change up their shed and add lighting have like plumbing have a toilet and you know faucets and all this stuff and microwave and then up top, that's where the bedding is. And it's so weird that you have to actually climb up to the bedding area. So let's let's climb up together. And it's the first time doing it, it's really weird because it's like you gotta put your foot here, and then you gotta hold on to these bars right here. And then you gotta keep stepping like really nice and slow. Now I'm holding with one hand, so this is gonna be slightly difficult. You gotta see my feet here and you gotta slowly step into this thing and when you look up in here you see the bedding area now i'm like six feet right if you were maybe six two or six three your head would be hitting this <laughs> i'm six feet and i'm not even all the way on the steps yet so now i'm on like the second the third before last and my head is almost about to hit this. And then you see the bed. And then there's like a television, which is pretty cool, I guess. And here's like the AC, which is pretty cool. And here's like the, uh, what's this thing? You know, the remote control for the AC. So that's a ting. Let me turn that off, though. Now let me step down. I don't want to get myself step down carefully. Stepping down carefully. All right, man. Point I'm trying to make is I thought I thought Jacksonville would be pretty awesome. It really wasn't. The only thing that's really got got it going for itself is that it's cheaper. But at the same time, driving five hours to get here to unload things is going to be really annoying. So then I thought to myself, hopefully I can find something cheaper that's closer to my area. There really isn't anything that's close. That's at least within three mile, three hours around me. Is going to have high prices, like somewhere around like 1600 and up. 
I don't want to spend sixteen hundred and up for an apartment, especially when I'm doing it by myself. I feel like it's a waste of time. Um, so there's that. <laughs> um, so I don't know what to do. I don't want to stay at my mother's house, even though I probably save thousands of dollars if I did this for one year. Save thousands of dollars, and then ooh, save thousands of dollars for one year, and then like purchase a house or I don't know, purchase a a condo. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't want to make it too long. I don't want to make this too long. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, I should talk about body odor related things. Um, the last thing I, last vlog I did, I talked about how I don't have Team Al and whatever. And then people started <laughs> posting comments about like there's the things that they do to like eliminate or reduce their odor. And I think it was very interesting that that's, their natural response was just to talk about things that helped or treated their odor. And my thing is, um, I think I'm going to have this for a long time or maybe for the rest of my life. And if I do have it for the rest of my life, I don't, obviously you do want to treat or reduce the odor, but overall I want to figure out what is the cause of this? Why is this happening? Right? Um, so that's the reason why I see doctors. Oh, a call came through. I don't know when it stopped, but that's why I see doctors because I'm trying to really figure out what the fuck is going on with me. So it's weird that they started, people start posting comments of things. That, it's not weird. I get it because they think, oh, you're in a bad state. I mean, technically I am in a bad state, but, um, the main reason why I'm posting this information about like, oh, I don't have Team Al is to make people realize, hey, you might not have this shit either. Even though like that's the, the common thing that's associated with metabolic body odor or metabolic odor conditions, you might not have this. There might be other things. And my whole, I have a life goal to try to figure out what the hell is going on. Um... But at this moment, I'm really trying to find, I'm trying to land some apartment that's not that far away. Do you, have you ever heard of pods? Hold up. Hold up. Let me switch my... Have you ever heard of this, this website called Pods, bro? I was told by like a, a colleague or work colleague about pods where they do some type of... Um, they you, you rent out a storage bin or it's like storage container put all your store all your items there and they will deliver that storage container into wherever place you need to go so i was like oh that's pretty good maybe it'd be very inexpensive <laughs> so within the website you can just like first do some type of form or whatever and just type, start typing in where your current zip code is and where you want your destination to be and then at the end of the form they don't actually tell you the quote they tell you to call somebody up to get the quote. So I called them up. I thought it was stupid, but I called them up because I really was interested. Maybe this is the better option. I called this guy up. You know how much it would cost to get one storage container from Miami all the way to Jacksonville, which is five to six hours. It's only five to six hours away. You know how much that shit would cost? Almost seven grand. <laughs> He told me the whole thing would cost like 6,900 something dollars. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. I don't even know why the dude in my, in my work suggested me this shit. Even though he knew it would probably be expensive as fuck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> seven, almost seven grand. Just for a five hour trip, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's how they rip you off, bro. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to leave tonight or something. Um, on Sunday is going to be my birthday. So I'm going to get older and be closer to death. And then next week is going to be the Super Bowl. So that'll be pretty dope. But yeah, I didn't want to make it 14 minutes long. Uh, you guys have a good day. Bye.